Hello guys, welcome back to CJ Made Simple. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to hide this line in 3D view in Revit. Why do you want to have it and how to use it? Let's jump into it. So let's say I have a furniture like this in Revit. But when I jump to floor plan, I would like to have a representation which is simpler. So it's not so heavy according to the lines. I would like to keep it light. Uh, what I would do is I would go to the family and I will withdraw everything that I would like to see. Let's say this is going to be the seat, um, the back and this is the seat with lines. I will group them like this and I replace the family. So now in order to have only these lines in floor plan, I will need to go to the family and here under visibility settings, I need to hide the representation in floor plan. Okay. Reload. All right. Okay. I will need to hide to hide the legs as well, basically everything beside uh, my lines. Like all the geometry. This one, this one. Like this, you can have you can hide them also from the properties. Okay. Now I have only the 2D representation. Okay, great. This is the result that I would like to achieve. But when I jump into the 3D, the problem is that I'm I will continue seeing these lines, and I would like to keep the 3D model clean how to fix this issue. In order to solve it, let's go again to the family. The thing, these are, this is the group with, with the lines. I need to redraw them with the symbolic line. I made them before at the beginning with the model line, which we see the, uh, it also in the 3D, as you can read here. So I'll just delete them, go to annotate, tap, symbolic line, and withdraw or copy paste the previous lines like this. I'll close the group. I prefer to group them so I keep them organized. Reload the family, overwrite, and Voila, we have it. It's clean in the 3D view. And if I go to the floor plan, I have clean and nice drawing. So it's not heavy. And it can be used, for instance, for competition drawings or according to your needs. If you enjoyed anything in the video, then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does. If you haven't subscribed yet, click below and join us. We have some great videos coming up that you don't want to miss. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.